What's going on everybody? Welcome to GMars World and right here you're going to be seeing me going up against Just Relax Kid. Now this is like a Draft Champions War series that we just started up. Um, obviously I don't think I've done a draft, uh, draft series with any other uh, streamer or YouTuber as of yet so he's my first. Um, and right now we're gonna start off pretty well. The only problem that I that I had with this is that I picked the freaking the Tampa Bay Buccaneers offensive playbook. I hate that playbook, but I'm just gonna go through it and show you the stuff that I got. Um, the reason that you're not seeing it in its entirety the way it happened because I did have JRK on the mic with me is because he was the one. What I think he was the one that was streaming. And I was just recording it, and I forgot to put my mic on to actually be in part of the recording. So I had to edit it out so you guys can see what happened because, you know what I'm saying? Like, I've always been a man of my word. I don't really care if you blow me out, whatever. I blow you out. It's just the game. We're having fun. So I'm just letting you guys see the highlights. Like, look, Tim Brown, Mike Vick. Like, I, I should have really took Mel Blunt here. Um, and I'm learning now. In Draft Champions, the only thing that really matters is defense. Like, offensively, I've played guys with no offense, and they've scored like a 1,000 points on me. But defensively, if your defense sucks, you're not doing anything because nobody's going to do They're not Look, the players already don't react, right? So if you get players that suck, like, look, I'm, I'm doing, I should have got Nitschke. Like, why would I get Jerry Rice here, bro? Like, I already got Tim Brown. Why would I get Jerry Rice? I'm just being greedy, bro. This is teaching me a lot of lessons. Don't be greedy. Stop being greedy. Like DMX said, bro, like, I'm eating long enough. I didn't need to take Jerry Rice here. I should have already had Mel Blunt. Listen, it doesn't really matter, bro. I was just doing everything ridiculously because... As you guys know, I'm the swerve god. Now, you know, it, it does matter which receivers you have. Um, as, if you're like new to swerving and stuff like that, like I encourage you guys to go to practice mode, get your game up, and uh, enjoy it because I'm pretty sure that it won't be in Madden 18. So if you can just go out there and make people feel the way you feel in the game, just frustrate them, why not do it? You know what I'm saying? Like a dude throws the ball up regardless and just holds the button and he gets a crazy animation where his butt jiggles and he runs it for six. Why can't you swerve him? You know what I'm saying? It, it is what it is, man. That, that's the way that you guys have to look at it. I haven't really enjoyed this game as much as I, I have been enjoying it now because I know that if I at least get off a couple swerves, it's going to ruin my opponent's day. So that, that keeps me going. Right here, I don't want to go with Cam Chancellor. I don't like his stats as far as what I'm looking for. So I, I'm going to go ahead and go with Zach Brown just for the user aspect and him being so fast. It just makes it a lot better for me. Like I said, Draft Champions is a whole new world. If you've never played Draft Champions in Madden 17, you probably won't want to do it because it's completely different from all the other game modes. They have sped it up uh, after one of the other patches. I don't know which patch it was. They've done so many patches. I don't know which patch, um, you know, sped up Draft Champions, but it's the same ridiculousness. It's the same thing that goes on. So don't worry about all that. The biggest thing that you guys need to worry about is understanding that defense is all that matters in Draft Champions. Okay, I just wanted to hurry up and go back and show you guys the defense really quickly so you can understand. Like, when you got when you got a dude like William Gay on your team, bro, and you got to contemplate using him, you see what I'm saying? Like, that's when you know you're deep. Because this dude, William Gay, is a total bum. He's a total bum on the Steelers in real life, in the game, like, everywhere. That's probably, like, okay. So he got a Mike Vick also. And a Khalil Mack. All right, that's pretty good. Um, you got the Marcus Allen also. So, look, we coming out top-heavy, bro. You know what I'm saying? In the words of LeBron James, we're top heavy right here. We got so much offense, but I wasn't ready for what he was gonna bring out. Because the way he was blitzing me, I'm gonna do I love running wide trips, right? For some reason I picked the playbook that was up there that just didn't have wide trips in it. So I didn't really know how to react to certain things that he was doing. And he's gonna come out and show me that he, he gives no Fs about anything. And that's the way you're supposed to do it, bruh. Like, it's always fun in games until you're getting flooded, dog, and you're looking for a floaty. You feel me? And that's what he came out to do. So if you guys don't know who Just Relax Kid is, um, he's on Twitch. Um, I will. He, you, you'll have all his information in the description box. If you want to give him a follow on Twitch, on Twitter, go to his YouTube and encourage him to start putting out videos because he's really, really lazy with it. But he does have a YouTube channel. Uh, I'm trying to get him to start putting out more content. Um, so yeah, definitely go there and tell him, like, bro, you need to start putting, you know what I'm saying? Start putting in some work. Right there, we use a lurking because guess what? We still, we still out here, bro. TSG in the comment section, bro. Like, I got dudes that really ride, though. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not really... What the hell? What what was that? Okay, look, right there. See, the thing about that swerve, the way Draft Champions is, like, I can't really explain, but there's a science to the swerve. And Jerry Rice is a total bum, and he didn't want to come down with any of them, but that's, not, that's neither here nor there. The way he was playing it and the way that um, he adjusted to what I was doing... That was the biggest difference because usually people run cover two and different things like that to try to stop it. And that does, running cover two, if if you get the, uh, you know, like the nickel blitz or you, you get a guy in really, really quickly, the safety will usually pick the swerve, all right? If you know how to block nickel blitz, 
you're gonna swerve somebody's panties right off. And that's the only problem with, with cover two. But like I said, Nickel Blitz is one of the most, you know, over called defenses in the game. So very, very easy to run. It's not nothing that, that you know what I'm saying, that's too crazy about it. Um, it's a lot of different variations of it. Very, very simple. If you go to any random stream, most of the top players are running Nickel Blitz. Um, yeah, go ahead, pick me up, ball physics. Um, it's not really anything that you should know at this point. We're, we're, we're turning in, you know, we're going into April. You should know how to do uh, Nickel Blitz right now, so I'm not even going to talk about uh, explaining a setup or anything like that. Uh, so either way, right here, he's up 7-zip. How come my, how come when I got AJ Peterson, he never did anything like that? You know what I'm saying, bro? Yo, yo, guys, let me know. If you, what the, why is he wide open, bruh? Oh, my, they, oh, he gonna celebrate too? He, he, oh, he gonna shine on me. Oh, he a stunner. He a stunner though, okay. And then Jerry Rice again, dropping every ball. I learned a lot. With, like, listen, with great ass whippings come great responsibility. And he beat the hell out of me. Like, th this beating is gonna get a lot worse. Um, at some point, it's gonna become rated R, so I'm gonna need you to go and get uh, parental permission to watch the score. Because like, when you look at numbers like that, the Madden game, it makes your eyes bleed, bro, the way it's gonna go. And um, I, I was already swimming right here. Like, I'm down, you see what I'm saying? Like, once I got down 14 zip and I realized that Mike Vick was garbage, um, a lot of things started going through my mind. Like, what am I doing? Why am I even playing this game? I started looking down at myself in a different, what the f what kind of animation is that? It was, it was almost like they already knew I wasn't gonna catch the ball. I just don't, what, okay, he got sacked. All right, good, no fumble though, no fumble. But yeah, good stuff, yeah, oh, oh, do it again. Yeah, oh, right there though, okay. Yo, bro, okay, that's what you wanna do though? You wanna, oh, you wanna do me dirty. You gonna run around with Mike Vick. You gonna try to do me, oh, that's a dot, that's a dot. That's a dot. See, this is what I'm saying. You understand what I'm saying? That's a damn a linebacker that's trying to run back with a wide receiver because my cornerbacks are so damn slow. And that's a predetermined pick. That was already... S bro, that was predicted by Constantine in ancient Rome, bro. Like, the EA Sports with all these ridiculous animations, bro. Like, at some point, they got to say, look, man, you got to really click on and let the user do it. Stopping what the user is doing and let the computer take over, it just doesn't make any sense to me. I don't understand. I really just don't get it, man. I, I really, 100%, I just don't get it. Um, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, he, we, right here, we're going to go ahead and dot him because, look, if you can't swerve him, you got to burn him. And it, it is what it is, bro. We got to find a way to get on the board. So we're down 21. Uh, we've been down by more before. Oh, he's trying to get his swerve game on, too. He got Marcus Allen out there trying to swerve me. Yo, this dude, yo, not, the more I think about yo, JRK kind of heartless, bro. The more I think about what he was doing, I realized that this man, like, in another life, may have been a serial rapist, bro. Because he wasn't going to stop. He Like, he was putting it on me. And he was making sure that I understood that I was his bitch at this day and time. Like, bruh, it was really, really getting bad. And who, is that High Clinton Big Dicks? No, nah, he didn't even put High Clinton Big Dicks. No, that wasn't right. That, was that High Clinton Big Dicks? I think he put High Clinton Big Dicks on that side. And he was pretty much locking it up. And then for some reason, I couldn't really do anything to, you, you know what I'm saying, like to counteract what he was doing. It did, I can't really explain what was going on in this game. It just doesn't make any sense. Because he had High Clinton Big Dicks on, uh, on Jerry Rice. And I could not get any swerves off. But then after this game, I went to the lab and I just... What the... F Yo, is Jerry Rice serious, bro? Is he serious? Yo, bro, what's Ha Clinton's... Uh, ha Clinton Big Dick Speed, though? Another... Okay, that's my pick, though. All right, okay, my ball. Let's go. All right, so he's given his chances to get back in the game. And then also, um, he finally caught a swerve. All right, so... And also, the formation that he was running, it was, it was making it very, very difficult for me to get pressure, right? So I had to figure out how to info, you know, why do I have the green circle of death on? Yo, thanks, EA. Um, I had to figure out why was him, why is that guy just diving at the ground, bruh? Uh, he going, oh my, bruh, I never, this guy, Adrian Peterson has never ever run like this for me in my life. But everybody that I play against, this mother effer just turns into Jesus, bruh. How does that happen? The dude is such a bum. I just spent like 400K on him, uh, getting the all pro, what is it, the, um, the Pro Bowl version, the dude didn't break one tackle. Why is the ball bouncing around with ball physics? Nobody want to pick it, bro. What, what the f Yo, whatever, man. Yeah, oh, okay, outrun him. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Hurt him, hurt him. Yo, this game, bro, and he doesn't want to fumble. He want, yo, you know what, bro? Do what you got to do to me, bro. At this point, he had me tied down. And he was walking around the room while I, you know, I had the, the red ball in my mouth from Pulp Fiction. Running for six, bro. What are you, why is he that slow, bro? What? Just get tackled. Yo, bro, get, get tackled, bro. I can't wait to see you guys in the locker room. He caught that? Now he dropped it. This dude is really locking up. I had to put Herman Moore over there. I had to put Herman Moore over there, bruh. I had to put Herman Moore... Yo, I don't know what... I never, bruh. I don't give a damn what Jerry Rice it is. I don't want Jerry Rice on my team. I don't want him on my team, period. I don't care if it's the golden ticket, Jerry Rice. I don't care if it's a silver ticket. I don't care... Bruh, lunch ticket. Whatever kind of ticket, dot me. Yeah, get an animation. Yo, this game, I'm telling you, man. 
I just look, I, look, man. I give a shout out to JRK, man. He, why did he just run away and then try to pick the ball? And then he, he acts like he don't know what. And they go a hurdle, no fumble. Yo, Dot. All right, yo, listen. All right, bro. Yo, like I said, man. Go ahead and give this man a follow. Um, Twitter, uh, YouTube, Twitch. Do what you gotta do, man. Support, yo, yo, support this man. Very, very funny streamer. I don't know what else to say, man. I guess he's not as funny as we thought he was, bro. The dude has that, like, he has some meaning to him, too. Because he out here pounding me, bro. This is right. Yo, this is, I, I should go press charges. Like, I'm really contemplating going to press charges. Like, this kind of beating shouldn't be allowed at all, ever. Like, the game should stop. This is embarrassing, bro. Like, he breaking tackles. He's still breaking. He already in the end zone. He's still breaking tackles, bro. He really got to break it. J just throw it up. Pick me up. Pick me up again. Haha, Clinton Big Dicks. Thank you, man. Um... So, as you can see, right now, I'm, I'm floating on an island near you. Uh, got my floaties ready. I want to see how many of my dedicated dudes going to be like, yo, hashtag TSG. Or, you know, going to just completely jump ship because I got my ass raped. Uh, it is what it is, man. I fully expect either way. Shout out to JRK. That rhymed. See you guys next time. G Myers World. Subscribe. One love.